Welcome everyone to The Rack Show for an unboxing of not just one MNTD Gold Spot Miner, but two. So we're gonna go through these and other special fun in just a few moments, but let's get to these unboxings first. This is gonna be awesome. We'll save the gold spot for last because that, that will be a uh, little bit of different um, information on that one specifically. We'll even go to Rex or Minted website. So this is the Black, Sp uh, the Black Spot Miner. Now, if you have a regular uh, Rack V2, there's very little difference between these. Um, you'll see that they're, they're still uh, some small things. So like the packaging, right? The, the normal packaging is a brown box for the Rack V2s, but this is a black box and it's just, yeah, I, I kind of like it. It's edgy. So here is the Black Spot Miner. Now I will put in the show notes for the um, rack uh, v2 unboxing so you can check out some of the details there but this is the black spot miner so check that out just some extra wording on there the minted logo and other than that it looks exactly the same now the one thing that you do want to be aware of is that this has four gigabytes of RAM over the rack hotspot. Um, V2 has only has two gigabytes of RAM. So if you've been having some trouble syncing, down, you know, keeping up with the blockchain, uh, this extra space is going to help you uh, keep keep syncing, keep up. Um, so that's that's the the cool part about this one. So that is the black spot miner. So again, not too much differences from the V2, but the increase in RAM is. Uh, Kind of nice. Now, let me let me say this mul multiple times. Just because this is a uh, has more gigabytes of RAM, it doesn't necessarily allow you to mine better. Mining is done e uh, equivalent to exactly the same across all miners. So what you're doing is you're just more so ensuring uptime, which you could, I guess, kind of say that you that it mines more. But really, if if you're already at peak. And you have a good internet connection and all that kind of stuff you're not going to necessarily mine any more with this but this helps that that rate of, reduce that rate of error in your in your uptime a little bit more so um yeah so let's let's check out the gold spot so this is the black the black spot by the way if you haven't noticed um i've gotten a new camera so it, this one maintains focus. So over the Freedom Fire unboxing video, this one is so much better. So it will hold focus. So I'm, I'm excited about that. So again, your referrals really help improve the channel and I appreciate them because then I can solve silly stuff like cameras going out of focus. This is cool, it does fisheye and all that kind of stuff. So here we go with the gold spot miner. Now one note, this is, it's gold, but it's not, it's gold is in color, not the actual element gold. That would be pretty cool. Maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe one day. <laughs> one day when your helium rewards are all, like fully bagged up and H and T price is through the roof. Then you're gonna maybe get a solid gold casing. Check that out. So it says limited edition on there. Uh, light is very bright, so I'm trying to get the yeah. It says limited edition on there. And again, instead of black spot, it has the gold spot miner. It's just the casing is different color. Your screws are all black and all that kind of stuff. So. Um, the, the difference between the black spot and the gold spot is that this gold spot has eight gigabytes of RAM and it comes with VIP support. Now let's go to the website just to, to go cover that a little bit more. There's no different antennas that you get for this. Again, it's just like the rack V2, but it just has that extra RAM, which again, just ensures that little bit more of uptime for blockchain syncing and such. So that is the unboxing. So let's go to the video or to the website. 
All right, first time you see my face, that's exciting, or maybe not, I don't know. <laughs> Good times. Okay, so here is the website for the uh, Minted. Now, this is not on Rack's website. This is getminted.com, getmntd.com. And you can learn all about the differences between here. So over here, you have the black spot miner, which we just covered. It has the four gigabytes of RAM. And then the limited edition gold spot miner has eight gigabytes of RAM. And it's gold is in color, not the actual element. So VIP support, um, we'll, we'll talk about that in, in a minute here. So just check out the website here. Oh yeah, I do want to mention uh, the next drop is on November 16th. Um, you can log on. I know I tried to get on the last time that there was a drop and, and the website just got inundated. I believe that they're reducing the uh, quantity on the next drop to, I think it's three miners uh, per person. So uh, that's gonna be uh, better for everybody getting their chances in. So I, I know when I went through, I got all the way to approving the credit card transaction, even through my credit card company. And it's like it approved it, but then somehow I got a message or, or basically I just it spun and spun and spun and then I got kicked out. So I did not get the gold spot miner when I went to order it. So um, luckily the folks at uh, rack were able to hook me up with some of these and do a video for these so we want to pump this date get that in your books put an alarm whatever you need to do make sure it's at so it's at 10 a.m make sure to check what time zone it's in because uh this does not actually say right now uh, i believe their drops are on uh pacific time last time but again i really advise you to check out that that uh the time zone also, uh, my friend, he, he actually woke up, I, I think, a couple hours early because he didn't he didn't realize that. So double check that, triple check it. Make sure you got all the alarms you need because we want you to get those miners. And this is a drop. This is literally a drop. Like these are on hand. You don't have to wait six months to get them like I did. They have them on hand and you will get them within days. So that is super exciting. All right. So what is this VIP support? We talked about the eight gigabytes of RAM and my white that my white <laughs> why that might not um, or why that might improve your your earnings or your uptime a little bit. Um, but let's check out that VIP support. And again, you can get all of this information here um, through the FAQ. And I noticed that they don't have. I think they're still um, filling out the the uh, details of this VIP support. But from what I understand, uh, they are experimenting with basically you can um, you get a dedicated uh, channel in Discord that you can get to and then all, uh, where, where it's like VIPs only. So you would and you would be able to chat back and forth with the people from Rack a, a little bit more uh, easily than what you might be able to normally with the you might have to be relegated to email or something like that for support for um, you know, your rack miners and your black spots, but then the gold, the gold spot might uh, get you this, this VI or will get you this VIP access. So then, then you're able to handle your questions a little bit better. Also, I think the, the difference between the two is with the gold spot. If there is a problem and they prove that there is a problem, they will have inventory on hand to cycle it through and get that to you really quickly. Whereas, you know, if there was something wrong with one of your other miners, then you might have to send it back and you'd be down for a couple of days or something like that. So that's a, a, a good, uh, and again, I could be wrong on that. So if anybody knows more about that, uh, I, I try to do all my research as much as I could, but um, I want to make sure that you note that in the comments and then I'll correct it. Always check the first uh, comment, the description, and I usually pin a comment if I'm wrong. I love being wrong because then you you subscribers are awesome. Uh, you you comment and correct me and then I throw that in the notes. So always, always, always be checking in the, the notes there for, or in the comments for the pin comment because I'm, I'm wrong occasionally and that's okay. So we pivot. <laughs> All right, so that that is the awesome gold spot and the black spot that you've seen. Now, what am I gonna do with these? 
Um, I might keep this limited edition for myself. I've never had a limited edition miner other than the OG, which is still pretty darn cool to have an OG miner. Uh, but uh, there's definitely a room for people's hotspot in here, maybe uh, for one or both. Maybe it'd be good to have uh, the gold spot go on the 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 people's hotspot tour, and then just be able to uh, allow hosts to get that that direct channel into the to um, to rack for support. So there it is, ticking down two days, eighteen hours, fifty four minutes. So very very soon to get your next miner. All right, so I got some other cool stuff for you. And we're gonna go full screen to my face again. Let me get this new camera out of the way because that thing is awesome. It's really serving a need. Okay, so behind me, you can see amongst my mess. Oof, I got quite the mess in the office today. I got some products here. So let me extend this back so I can pick this pick this stuff up now let's see here let me get my directions right this is the rack enclosure and I've used a bunch of these things I did a live stream where I covered some of the tips from that I'll put that in the show notes as well and then also um, I had like you know all the things you want to remember um, tools that you'd want to do so I will have another video coming up soon where I will go over all the parts from the rack enclosure itself. Plus I'll have a Bobcat uh, enclosure. And then I'll take all the miners I have, basically the OG, the Freedom Fi, uh, Nebra, Bobcat, and I'll just cycle them through all of them and show them how they fit in there and which ones you need to do. And then uh, Rack just announced these solar shields over here for uh, the Bobcat bobcat enclosure so uh please remember that the this solar shield right here does not belong on the rack enclosure like it doesn't fit together i already tried because i thought oh i should get some of these and so i just bought a couple uh just to make sure but no they don't fit so if you have the the regular rack enclosure right here it doesn't go with the solar shield. You need the bob the bobcat enclosure for that one. And I've seen that they have like the sense cap and the bobcat. There's some literature on the website on the rack website that does uh, that says it can go with either. So I do not have a sense cap. Um, there's a couple other brands I still don't have. It's it's quickly becoming a thing. I can't keep up with all of these manufacturers, and and they're doing so well. They're not sending them to all the YouTube videos out there. But I think that that's that, that's cool. It's great for the network. I'm glad more miners are going out. And so, yeah, let's take a little quick look at these because, again, they're going to be fully explained in another video. All right. So this is the, oops, sorry, this is the rack enclosure. And so I've got a, uh, a rack V2 in here right now. And it is all mounted in there. My first one, uh, you couldn't pick this up and do this with it. Everything would fall out. So I've, I've since improved my methods. So, um, so I'm going to show you how to do this, how to connect up all of the Ethernet cables, maybe even crimp your own a little bit. That'll take some more time. And then I also might even have a guest star, uh, just a guest learning about these, maybe putting up one of their own. So that's another cool thing. So that is the enclosure. Now I'll show you from all sides just to get you. And this is cool because it kind of clicks so you can get that exact elevation you want. And then throw on your uh, N-type antenna up here. And I have some of those too that I forgot to bring down. But I've shown those off before as well. There's a live stream on antennas and uh, antenna placement and all that kind of stuff. So yeah. I'll, one more spoiler for a tip. You can see the, above the solar shield right here, I have the face cover for this. It's in horizontal. That's just one tip. Always keep it horizontal because wind mostly flows horizontal at the surface. So that can help cool your miner. So yeah, lots of fun stuff to show you. I hope you enjoyed these unboxings. And if you need more information, uh, you can ask questions in the comments and then check out the other videos, like and subscribe for sure. And more information is coming in this season two of Helium Coverage. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, Carpe Tempestus, everyone.